The SSH session type now supports port forwarding. To enable this, switch to the Advanced Properties and select one of the forwarding items. You can select from Local Port Forwarding, Remote Port Forwarding, or X11 Forwarding. Let's start with Local Port. Here we've enabled it and we've entered one entry here. The format is Local Port, Remote Host Name, and Remote Port. Local Port Forwarding allows a connection to a local port on your client machine to be forwarded over the SSH connection to the specified remote host and port. In this case, any application which connects to port 2000 on my local client machine would be forwarded over the SSH connection and then from the remote machine be sent to this remote host and this remote port. Remote port forwarding is pretty much the same except that it allows a connection to a port on the remote machine to be forwarded over the SSH connection to the specified host and port from your local machine. In this case I've enabled it and specified that any connection to port 5000 on the remote machine be sent over the SSH connection to my local machine and then from there sent to this host and this port. In this case it's just going to my local host port 6000 but this could be any other host. X11 forwarding is useful if you are running an X server on your client machine and want to run X clients which are present on the remote machine. You simply select the display number that your display is running on. When the SSH connection is established, the display variable would be set on the remote machine such that all X clients will send their display over the SSH connection to the specified X server. This may be a display running on a server other than localhost. The format in general is host name colon display number. Custom encoding is available on all stream-based applications, not just SSH, but other applications and session types such as Telnet. To enable it, just go to the terminal item. You will notice the encoding property here. It is set by default to UTF-8. However, you can change this now to any of a large set of standard encoding types. You may want to do this based on the server that you are connecting to. In particular, legacy mainframe systems or debug ports on devices may expect a certain character encoding and would benefit from this setting. 